controller. I love video games, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, and Sega, boy. Really don't matter to me, man. Who ready to play? Hold up, the game here got something to say. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy God Shepherd, and I'm back. Oh yeah, with another video. I'm also a hip hop recording artist and all of that good old stuff. And I hope you know where to go find my music. Anyway, let's get into this video. Yes, yes, y'all, it is 2020, my first video of 2020. Here we are, here I am, ready to give it to you. And I just was sitting down thinking about some of the latest videos that I did do, you know, uh, you know, before this one, and I was just talking about my top tens of, uh, you know, games that I loved of the year, and then I believe, and then, you know, a couple games that I just was like, you know, for the year. So I thought to myself, you know, what better way to start off the year with my first video talking about my favorite games of the decade. And I have 11 of them to talk to you about. And uh, you're probably going 11, that's, you know, an odd number, you know, 10, 15, you know, 20, or why not those numbers, you know? But it, it, when I think about it and I go all the way back that far, Man, I, I had over a hundred and something games I could have shared with you guys. So that would have took about uh, one, two, about five videos to do that. It was so hard to break it down to 11. I, I, I tried to get it to 10 and then I saw myself with at least 20 and I was like, no, no, no. Let's get it down as far as we can. So here I am with 11 of my favorite games of the decade. Shout out to all my friends and people out there who have been watching who gave me the idea to do this so without further ado let's get into it all right starting off with the year 2010 one of my favorite games in 2010 i mean there was a lot but i could not choose nothing other than this bad boy right here heavy rain oh yes heavy rain was an awesome game for me i mean i was so caught up into this game i mean caught up into the characters i mean this game right here this game made me cry i mean it had multiple endings and things of that nature i mean i i, I really love the voice acting and the graphics when it came to this game right here it was it was great i mean i really don't know what else to say about it except for you know go play it if you haven't played it it's worth your time you know again i fell in love with the characters of this game fell in love with the graphics it reeled me in i spent a lot of my time playing this game more than i did any other games that year all right and for 2011 yes y'all 2011 the next game up is uncharted Three. This was actually the first Uncharted game that I got to play ever. This game got me hooked on all of the others and made me go out and buy all the other games. You know, I am an Uncharted fan and I believe in Uncharted 3, uh, it was really a big step up uh, in my opinion compared to the other games you know in the series you know except for you know we got uncharted 4 that came after this and that bad boy was bad as well but anyway uncharted 3 awesome graphics i loved the platforming i loved everything about this game i loved just being sucked in and having that you know indiana jones tomb raider type feeling going on so for 2011 my favorite game is uncharted 3 oh yeah and for 2012 my favorite pick is none other than The Walking Dead. Oh yes, The Walking Dead, you guys. This game was great. Another awesome game. Love the graphics of the game. I love the graphics of all the, you know, Telltale games. You know, uh, let's just put it out there. But this game was awesome. I mean, this was my first game that I ever really kind of played that got me into like you know uh, the episodic type of adventure things again this was another one of those games that felt like i was the characters or i knew the characters and and i didn't want nothing to happen to my poor little clementine you know what i'm saying i'd knock somebody out but anyway for 2012 this was my favorite game playing this all the time I, I played it over and over again this is one of those games that has multiple endings as well 
but yes, one of my favorites for 2012. All right, next on the list for 2013 is The Last of Us. Oh yeah, this game, I mean, nothing needs to be said about this game, really. If you ain't played this game, you need to be knocked upside your head. This is a great game. Oh yes, I mean, yes, beautiful game. Another one of those games that just suck you right in to, with all the characters. It's like you get to know the characters. It's like you're, you're just a part of their world. This was a masterpiece. Don't know what else to really say about it. Just a masterpiece, man. This is great. Love this game so much that I've played it over and over and over. Oh, get over there over again so yes i can't wait for the last of us part two to drop i mean if it doesn't keep getting pushed back but yes great great game the last of us for 2013 all right next on the list is bayonetta 2 Oh yeah, bet you didn't think I'd be pulling up a Wii U game on this uh, thing, did you? But yes, it's a Wii U game. Bayonetta 2. This is one of the reasons why I love my Wii U. And from time to time, I will turn that baby on and get to playing this right here. Love this game. I mean, this was a great step up from the previous game. Very well polished. Oh yes, it is. Very well polished. Polished. and it has a lot of action in the game and I just love it great graphics you know for the Wii U so with that said Bayonetta 2 is my favorite and my number one pick you know for 2014 oh yeah all right for my 2015 pick my favorite game of that year was the order 1886 Oh yes, this game was a great game. I mean, a lot of people really don't like this game because they're like, man, this is just a, a big movie, basically. I mean, it's so many cutscenes that it's just a big movie. It's more movie than it is game. Okay, okay, it might be something like that. But for me, I love the movie -ish type of game, or however you want to put it, but I loved playing this thing. To me, this defined or, you know, showed what the PS4 was very capable of. It, I mean, it used the power of the PS4, especially as far as visuals, and, and with that said, too, you know, the gameplay to me was great. I mean, I had a lot of fun using the different weapons and things within the game, but yeah, this game right here was beautiful, and yes, I love the movie, if that's what people say it is they just think it's a big movie if the order 1886 was a movie i really loved it so this had my attention you know and and i loved going back and forth and playing it various times so yeah for the year 2015 the order 1886 gets my thumbs up and it's my favorite for 2016 i, I got two of them I, I couldn't just bring myself to just pick one but the first one is uncharted 4 this game beautiful great game and again with this a very very big step up from the previous games of course it's on the ps4 so but yeah it was great another beautiful game i love the story mostly uh, about this game and and then when we got to the end i was like man there's not gonna be another one i, I hope that they bring back a five I, I, please do it please I don't care if it's years from now, just bring one back. Uncharted 4 is one of, you know, because I liked two of them that year, one of my picks, one of my favorite picks for 2016. And my other pick for 2016 is none other than Doom. <laughs> Woo! Doom was great. I mean, Doom does what it does best, and that's becoming a beat em up, shoot em up, foot in your face, kick butt game. Oh yeah, try to say that about 10 times fast. Yes, Doom right here is my other pick for 2016. All right, and for 2017 is Horizon Zero Dawn. Man, I, it was a toss up between this and this. Please don't hate me. I, I spent more time playing this than I did this. So 
away with that. So, <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn is the favorite of 2017. Yes, yes, y'all, it's my favorite. I, I got so caught up into this game, the story, everything. I mean, it was just a beautiful game, and this was, this was also another one of those games that I believe took advantage of the PS4's power. I mean, it was a great game and i loved you know just hunting and getting scraps from the robots i love just doing my thing and shooting up some robots with my bow and arrow and and whatnot just having lots of fun this game was you know had a lot of my attention in 2017 yeah zelda breath of the wild got a little bit of it but this right here took the cake Horizon Zero Dawn is my favorite pick for 2017. We're getting down to the last two, and for 2018, it's none other than Marvel Spider-Man. Woo! This, oh man, I know y'all with me on this. This is my favorite game of 2018. I'm sorry, hands down. I mean, the web slinging, the swinging, you know, this was great compared to other Spider-Man games. I mean, I just love climbing up to the top of the tallest building and just free falling, just dropping. It was great. The story, awesome. I know a lot of people are going to try to put this game down probably because they kind of downgraded or whatever. You know, they downgraded the visuals, but it still looked beautiful to me. I got caught up in the story. I completed this game in its entirety. Yeah, fully completed this game. Awesome game of 2018, and for that year, it was my favorite. Oh, yeah, and for 2019, as if you couldn't have guessed it, Star Wars Jedi The Fallen Order. Oh, yeah, this, this game right here was awesome. A beautiful game, a game that had me wrapped up in it so much so that I forgot about all the other games of 2019. Well, well, not really. I did play other games. I mean, I played a lot of games through the decade. And this game right here, you know, is top of the line for me. It had me caught up. Uh, I was on this game hours after hours after hours. But anyway, yeah, great game for 2019. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It's a must play, a must go get. The story for me again was great. Graphics, great. I like what they did with this game. I love the gameplay, the controls. I can go on and on and on, but I'm gonna stop right there. 2019, my favorite pick of that year. All right, now there you have it. My top picks, you know, my favorite picks of the decade. I don't know if you guys agree with any of these picks, but this is just my opinion. You know, my favorite games, the games that I spent the most time playing. You know what I mean? You know, the games that got more of my attention than other games did. So yes, that's why these games made the list for my favorite games of the decade and i can't wait to see what 2020 has in store for us i know there are some great games on the way so yeah i'm, I'm, I'm just ready i am ready like comment and subscribe share you guys' thoughts on you know on my favorite games of the decade are any of these games your favorite and don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll be notified when i'm doing new videos and until next time thank you guys for tuning in to game Oh, yeah.